Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks training, I want to show you how to enable account numbers. In this example, I'm using QuickBooks Online and specifically the test file, Craig's Design and Landscape Services. Sometimes what you might find is that you want to enable account numbers or your accountant would like you to enable account numbers. I want to show you what it looks like before and after you do that and how to do it. So first we'll start and we'll take a look at how your account looks right now. First we'll start and take a look at how your reports look as they are right now. To get to the reports, I'm going to click on the word reports on the left hand side of my screen. I'm then going to click on balance sheet for this example. So it's the second option down. If you don't see it as the second one down, you can always type balance sheet in the upper right hand corner and then select the balance sheet. So right now what I see is my balance sheet and it's organized by account type and then sub organized alphabetically. There's a variety of reasons you might want to organize it, not alphabetically, but rather by number. And so let me show you how to do that. In the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on the gear. We're then going to go to the section called your company and specifically account and settings. On the left hand side, we'll click on advanced. And then over here, the third option down, it says chart of accounts. Right now it says enable account numbers and then it has the word off. I'm going to go to the right hand side of my screen and click on the pencil. I'm then going to click the box for enable and account numbers. This turns it from off to on. The second thing you need to click and you may not see it the first time is this little box that says show account numbers. So the enable makes it so that you can have the account numbers there when you enter income and expenses. Show account numbers means that when you look at reports, you'll see your account numbers. So I'm going to click on show account numbers and then I'll choose save. In the lower right hand corner of my screen, I'm going to click on done. So right now the checking account is ordered first and the savings account is ordered second. I want to take you into the land of make believe where for some reason we want them in the other order. To do this, I'm going to have you click on accounting on the left hand side of your screen and then go to chart of accounts. Take a peek under the hood. So right now I've got checking and then savings. Over to the right of the word checking, I'm gonna click the drop down next to view register. I'm gonna select edit. I'm gonna add the account number and I'm gonna give it account number 1002. And then I'm gonna say save and close. Now I can see the number is 1002. It adds the number to the beginning of this name, but it's not like if you make a deposit, you're not going to see the name as 1002. It's just a weird way that it displays. So for the savings, I'm going to click the drop down to the right. I'm going to choose edit. I'm going to give it number 1001 and then save and close. So now the savings is above the checking on my chart of accounts. When I go back and look at my balance sheet, I'm going to see the savings is above the checking on the balance sheet. Right here, 1001 and then 1002. So maybe you like the way things are ordered on your balance sheet, but maybe your profit and loss, you'd like things to be ordered differently or grouped differently. This is a way that you can make it happen without having to change the naming convention of your accounts. If you have any questions about enabling account numbers, any questions about what the account number should be, or questions pertaining to QuickBooks, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can leave a note in the comments box, you can send me an email, or you can set an appointment. Thank you so much. Thank you.